this gala. Yeah, he sort of ducks. He ducked. I mean, he was coming right at his head, but he ducked. He ducked. Pete Fry, the goalie mindset guy. I'm here to talk to you about being fearless in the net. The video you just watched, you saw an NHL goalie, Ila Brisgala, duck, and the puck went by him, and he didn't come up with a save. Now, he was making millions of dollars at that time, and, and I saw this episode of Sports Center where Mike Milbury just ripped him apart. His point was he's making millions of dollars, and he ducks. Now, Ilya Brzgalov is human. I love watching the guy. He's very, very funny. And I'm going to talk to you about how you can avoid being puck shy. Here's what you have to do. So how does a goalie overcome being scared of the puck? So the problem that you have is that you're dealing with the subconscious mind. Even if the goalie thinks with his conscious mind that a puck is not going to hurt him, and let's say last week, somehow he turned his hand over and the puck hit him and hurt him. And maybe because he moved in a different way, so it made him vulnerable that the equipment normally would cover, but maybe it didn't cover it. In his mind, he's saying, okay, well, I'm safe now. It doesn't matter. I'm safe. But the subconscious mind will still try to protect you. And that's why you say, okay, I know it's not going to hurt. I know it's going to be all right, but you can still flinch because it's your subconscious mind which is causing that flinching. Similar to when you watch a scary movie. You know that that movie is fake. You know it's not real. You know it's by a bunch of actors. And you tell yourself, okay, in this scene, I know it's fake. I'm not going to jump back. I've done that many times. And what happens? As soon as that scary scene happens, there's a jump scene. Ah, you're jumping back. Maybe yelling something, but you're, you, even though you told yourself not to, the same thing can happen with hockey pucks as well now so here are five things that you can do that will overcome this working with the subconscious mind working with the conscious mind and working with the physical we're going to work with those three things here's what you're going to do firstly let's put your conscious mind to ease what i mean is go through your equipment your glove your blocker your chest protector your helmet your neck protector all the key stuff and just make sure, ensure that it is really, really good and really, really safe. That's the first thing. So you're putting your conscious mind at ease. The second thing, once you've done that and your conscious mind is at ease, the second thing that you're going to do, you're going to work with your subconscious mind. So here's what I want you to do is in your next practice, every time that puck hits you, every time you make that save, I want you to beforehand, having thought of something that you really, really like or really, really love. It could be a certain food you really like. It could be the game Fortnite, maybe. But something, maybe a toy that you got when you were younger, when you were a kid. When you think of it, it brings you joy. Something like that. And then every time that puck hits you, I want you to think of that something that you really, really like or that's something that you really, really love for the whole practice. And what that will do, that will start to connect pleasure again to when the puck hits you, to when it makes contact with you. So you're working with your subconscious mind. So that'll be the second thing to do. The third thing to do is you need to work with the physical part as well. I remember a former client of mine, he was playing with the Boston Bruins at the time, and he broke his finger. And so he broke his finger, and what happened, even though the finger started to repair itself and get better, when he would play in games or practices the next few weeks, even though he told his conscious mind, I'm going to be all right, he would still flinch. And so physically, here's what he did. When the puck was shot, he would go a little lower in stance. So as soon as that puck is shot, drop a little lower in your stance. So you're moving into it instead of flinching away from it. So you're moving into it. So three is you do the, the physical part. And four, be aware of your breathing. That will take your mind off of it. Be aware of your breathing. And five, smile. When the puck is shot and you're making that save, smile. That is the fifth thing 
that you are going to do. Those are the five key things. Okay, remember, number one, go through, do that equipment check. Number two, come up with something that you really love, and every time you make that save, think of it. Number three, move into it, crouch a little lower when that puck is shot. Number four, be aware of your breathing. And number five, smile. Until next time, Pete Fry, the goalie mindset guy, signing off for now. You stay great.